the best source of calcium is obviously in our diet. Um, but that being said, if you are, have a history of osteoporosis or osteopenia, so thinning of the bones, and your doctor recommends a calcium supplement, absolutely take it. Mm -hmm. There are very few instances in which you would not take that when you already have osteoporosis or osteopenia. Um, and the biggest risk with the calcium um, supplements is not necessarily that deposit into your mm -hmm. arteries, but more kidney stones. Mm -hmm. So if you've had a history of kidney stones, you're not going to want to take calcium supplementation in the form of a pill. You're going to want to get your calcium through your food. Mm -hmm. And do we typically, most of us, get our calcium through our food uh, in our regular diets, or are we lacking? Well, probably I would say in general we're probably lacking overall. Um, however, it's quite, it is easy to enough to get the amount of calcium that we need. We just have to kind of maybe make some tweaks here and there. Mm -hmm. Think about it a little bit more. Right, exactly. Okay. Well, make lactose those intolerance. If you're That's lactose true. intolerant, you can't eat dairy products and you might have a harder time. There are products though that are lactose free. Yeah, and I've been dairy free for 10 years and I've tracked my intake with my fitness pal, never have a problem reaching my calcium. Mm -hmm. What are other good sources besides dairy? Like broccoli and spinach are other ones. We fortify pretty much everything too. And so I do drink an alternative nut milk and it will be fortified with plenty of calcium. And then uh, just your grains and things like that also can be fortified, so. okay.